Lot Esmond here for Winners and Winers, trying to make you a better, better, and reminding you, bet safely, bet legally, bet courteously. Now, in all seriousness, exciting time to be involved in sports betting, but you want to make sure you're doing it legally. You want to make sure you're doing it safely. Only bet what you can afford to bet. Nobody, as my good friend Scott Wetzel likes to say, nobody beats the boys in Vegas long term. Well, I do. Just saying. All right. The uh, Showboats. Stupid name. Memphis Showboats. Uh, I thought they looked pretty good against the Philly Stars week one. And I was like, oh, the Showboats. Uh, Turns out Philly sucks. So the Showboats didn't show up last week. They got waxed by the Stallions. (laughs) 42 points they allowed. Woo. Uh, The Showboats only scored two points points in their loss off of safety, failing to garner any points down on the defensive side of the ball. Think about that. 42-2. to two. Yikes. So, yeah. And they turned the ball over as well, so we don't like that. The Gamblers, well, their offense looked good. They scored 31 points, but they gave up 38 to the Breakers, and the Breakers also not that great. So, yeah, this is another one of those games where you got two teams that don't look all that great. But the Gamblers at least can do something on offense. Now, take all this with a grain of salt, because guess what? It's 70% humidity, likely rain, wind blowing, and you could have lightning, which means game delay. Uh, it's going to be weird weather. It's going to be muggy and hot. It's going to be wet and slick. Uh, yikes. Uh, it'll be like playing football in a sauna where every now and then the fire sprinklers come on. Yikes. Could be an ugly game. I'm going to lean under the 43 and a half here in this game because of the potential conditions and the fact that the gamblers can play offense, but the showboats kind of stink. So I'm leaning under 43 and a half, and gamblers are only minus three. The showboats are bad. The gamblers aren't horrible. So it's not a ringing endorsement. It's not one of my best bets. You're going to find those at the cappers place on uh, winners and winers where you pay to get everybody's best picks. And let's face it. That's where everybody, all the handicappers put their best picks. Sorry, just the way it is. We get judged on the ones we sell, not the ones we do for free. So I always give my best advice I can on these videos. But if you want everybody's best picks, you got to go buy them over there at Winners and Winers. I'm Lad Esmond for Winners and Winers, trying to make you a better.